Let the hunt begin. When Death Knight was released to Hearthstone, it brought with it mechanics unlike any of the classes before that. I'm talking about Death Knight's unique deck building and resource systems, but I've begun the process of reimagining some of Hearthstone's older classes by giving them mechanics similar to Death Knight's. I've overhauled classes like Shaman and Priest and you may have seen these videos. My most recent overhaul was of the Hunter class, which had some pretty interesting mechanics I'll say, but while working on ideas for my next overhaul, I thought of a new mechanic that would have just been perfect for the Hunter video. In fact, it could replace the mechanic that people were the least excited about. I'm gonna go into full detail about this mechanic in a bit, but first, I'll quickly explain the mechanics of my Hunter overhaul in general, just to give you all the context. The central piece of my overhaul was a new resource for Hunter that I called Focus. Focus would be a temporary resource that is gained every time you do damage with your cars or characters, but only one focus is gained every time, no matter how much damage was dealt or to whom any targets. Since the focus resource is temporary, all focus will be lost at the end of each turn, but also if you use your hero power. You see, the focus power would interact with the hunter hero power. When you reach 3 focus, your hero power would deal 1 additional damage, and when you reach 6 focus, it's 2 additional damage. And finally, if you reach 10 focus, your hero power will deal 3 additional damage. The idea was that the hunter hero power would become the main source of damage to the enemy hero, so I also changed some cards that previously dealt high amounts of face damage. I also gave hunter a new keyword that would interact with the focus bar, focused X. Cards with this keyword would trigger a bonus if you have an equal or higher amount of focus than the number next to the keyword. Lastly, I gave Hunter three specializations that I called Pass. These were different playstyles you'd choose at the start of your game, which would give you different ways of gaining additional focus. The Path of Beast Mastery would give you one additional focus every time you do damage with beasts, and the Path of Marksmanship would give you one additional focus every time you do damage with spells. Finally, the Path of Survival would give you two additional focus every time you do damage with weapons. All of this was the main premise of the overhaul, but I took it one step further by also making specialized cards that you could gain access to when choosing a path. However, this might have been a step too far. Here's why. When I released this overhaul online, the response was very positive. Most people seemed to like it, and the people who were critical of it usually disagreed on what they disliked about it. Like some people thought the bonus to the hero power would be too strong and suggested things like reducing the base damage of the hunter hero power or increasing the focus bar to 12. Either one could be a good approach, but I also think my approach of having the hero power be the main source of face damage works too. Someone also suggested I improve the bonus of survival to 3 extra focus when attacking with a weapon, since that one has a lower power ceiling than the other two, and I could definitely get behind that. But the one thing many people agreed on was that they just didn't like the specialized cards. They thought they would restrict new cards being printed like they felt they have for Death Knight. I could make an entire video responding to this because I don't fully agree with that. Still, I thought of a mechanic that could replace the specialized cards, so why not give the people what they want? So what is this new mechanic? I call it the Stable. The Stable is a new Hunter exclusive mechanic that will interact with the Animal Companion mechanic. More than that, it will allow you to choose which Animal Companion to summon out of a collection of several. I've made 11 new Animal Companions you can choose between. So how do you use this new mechanic? Well, when you're building a Hunter deck, you will have a small interface above your deck that shows two icons. One is your path, and clicking that will let you go back to your path selection screen and choose a new path. The other is the stable. If you click the stable, you will enter a new screen with a selection of all the animal companions to choose from on the left and your currently three chosen animal companions on the right. As a baseline, you will always summon the three current animal companions, Hafa, Lirk and Misha. And if you never enter the stable screen, those will be the animal companions you summon. But by clicking another animal companion and dragging it to your pool on the right, you can replace one of the three animal companions in your pool. From that point on, any card that summons or gives you animal companions will do so only from the three you now put in your pool. Here are all the new animal companions I've made. There's Bachi, Haratha and Huelo. Then there's Puffa, Rocco and Slithers. If you're playing a marksmanship hunter, you might want to choose Nisha and Spirit. Or if you're playing a survival hunter, maybe you choose Shellos and Woolpox. 
Finally, there's Keepers, who you might play as either a marksmanship or survival hunter. Since animal companions would become such a core part of the hunter identity, the plan is to introduce many more cards that are based around animal companions. And ideally, more animal companion cards would get introduced with each future expansion, and the one we saw in Whispang's workshop. In general, the plan is for animal companions to become much more accessible. So what do you think? Do you like this new mechanic? Let me know in the comments. And if you did like this video, consider also leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.